Okay guys, now we have a specimen which is a horizontal cut section, right? At the level of, at the internal, level, capsule. At the level of the internal capsule. Now you know that internal capsule, jo hai, this is a V-shaped band, more, more or less like a gate. Jitne bhi hamare fibers hote hai, the corticospinal tracts ho gaya, niche se jo fibers aenge, they are all going to go through this small structure that is a V-shaped structure which basically acts as a gate. Now this V-shaped structure, internal capsule, also divides the basal ganglia into a caudate nucleus and the lentiform nucleus. Now, let's look at the structures that we can see here in this horizontal section. Now starting from the medial side, if you can see over here, we can see this band of white matter, right? The V-shaped band of matter, this is known as the internal capsule. This is the largest type of the projection fibers. Right? This is the V-shaped internal capsule. Now this V-shaped internal capsule is divided into an anterior part, that is the anterior limb. The bend over here, this is known as the genu. This is known as the posterior limb. Now there are two more structures of the uh, internal capsule that we have to study over here. One is the, see, this internal capsule is dividing the basal ganglia into anterior part, this is known as the caudate nucleus. And here we have the lentiform part, right? This is the lentiform part. So one part of the internal capsule is present beneath this lentiform part, which is known as the sublentiform nucleus. And the other part is going to be present over here that will be known as the retro lentiform part. So the parts of the internal capsule are the anterior limb, the genu, the posterior limb, the sublentiform and the retro lentiform. This internal capsule, now as you can see, we have lots and lots of fibers going down. You know, you can see a lot of So you can understand that when there are so many fibers going down through this, this basically functions as a gate. If it is a small part of it, if it is injury, it is going to give rise to a huge number of injuries on our body. Now, again, from medial to lateral, when we are seeing the structures, on the middle most structure, you can see that this is a thalamus. Next to the thalamus, we have this limb of the internal capsule. This internal capsule is dividing the basal ganglia into an anterior caudate part and a posterior lentiform part. This lentiform part is again going to be divided by an external medullary lamina into the globus pallidus and the putamen. After the putamen, you can see one more white matter present over here, which is going to be known as the external capsule. Next to the external capsule, we have one more matter of gray matter known as a claustrum. This claustrum will again be followed by another white matter band known as the extreme capsule. And the later most, the lateral most structure will be known as the insular cortex or the insula. So the structures from the medial to lateral at the horizontal level of this uh, brain at the level of internal capsule will have the following structures. The medial most thalamus, the internal capsule, the lentiform nucleus. The lentiform nucleus will be again be divided by a thin band of white matter known as the external medullary lamina into an inner globus pallidus and the outer putamen area. The lentiform nucleus will again be surrounded on its lateral part by a white matter, band of white matter known as the external capsule which will again be followed laterally by a mass of gray matter known as the claustrum. Claustrum will again be followed by a thin layer of white matter known as the external extreme capsule and then will be followed by again another mass of gray matter known as the insula. So it is basically like gray matter, white matter, gray matter, white matter, gray, white and gray. So these are the structures that you can see over here at the horizontal level.